Laura would come in here with two motherfucking accounts. Motherfucker. I just saw the facial expression and I assumed. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, she's up there above Scala. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't, I don't know what's up with that chick, man. She crazy. I don't know. Yeah, TV head straight. He up here doing that bullshit. Yeah, I saw what happened with you and TV head. What the hell y'all get mad over? I'm talking about women. And he told me I can't speak of women. He's arguing <laughs> what with me because I was talking piece? about women. He said you can't speak for all women. Yeah, I, I, I was scrolling through it now. I, I thought it was your life for a second, but you wasn't moving. No. And then it, it, it was hit. I was like, what the hell is going on? In his emotions, I told him to get down because you coming up here snapping. He never came up snapping, and I feel like he's still angry over that Aunt Karen. He's like, why are you saying that? I'm saying it. You just don't like what I said. I said, no, you're basically trying to argue with a woman, talk about women. Wait, what happened with Aunt Karen? Yo, like, I ain't gonna lie. I got, like, Somebody four messages on Instagram line, saying that she was talking about me, TV head, and Blaze, I but I don't give a damn what your she said, name so up because she's. She's she's going. Somebody they telling her that you told people you smashed her, and she was mad that people are still going off of that when you didn't smash her. And um, when when ugh, someone came in this live to tell TV head that Aunt Karen was talking about him, so he dropped the fuck off. He went over there. And he came back and said, "Oh, she wasn't really talking about me, da da, because she scared of me, da da." But he's about to do a live about her, so he dropped from the live. He did everything on his live, talk about her or whatever. Then he came back. He came back upset. But he was arguing with me because I was talking about women and how women think. So he went to argue with me about that and say, I can't speak for all women. Listen, let, let me ask you a hypothetical question. He all women. Yeah. Nick, Nick, I got a hypothetical question for you. If a guy said he smashed with you and you, you didn't, would you still be talking about that two years after the fact, or would you just be like, nah, I didn't, and just leave it at that? I would. You would still be talking about two years after the fact, even though it didn't happen? No, I wouldn't talk about it. I just would, like, stop fucking lying and, and talking about me, saying you smashed me, motherfucker. Let it fly, right? Am, am I wrong or right? Look, look, here's what, yeah, this is the craziest thing that bugs me out about Uncanny, and this is why, the, and, and, and this is what, what Blaze got. When, when I first said that, I didn't say Blaze showed me like a, a like a, a chat log with a bunch of people who didn't like me and Aunt Karen was in there oh and they were talking shit about me and then I was just like wait a minute why is she talking shit about me when we just did an interview and I smashed her like a month ago or no it wasn't a month ago it was more than I don't even know this is two years ago fuck this is so long ago and then she tells the story on her TikTok of when she came to Philadelphia and how she didn't meet me and she says like, oh, she she said, he said we met in a hotel. I never went to a hotel. And fucking Blaze got the screenshot from his, her Instagram that she was in a hotel. She forgot she posted it, and that was a smoking gun. And that's that's why this shit never got let down because she lied about not going to a hotel. She has a picture of it. Well, it, 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 it. Who she fucked? No, I'm just what? saying. I'm just saying the situation. I'm just saying, like, I, I'm yeah, just saying. This, like, it's not. It doesn't matter. Know. To be honest, it's so old. It don't even matter. It's two years ago. Like, I don't even. Th this time when I knew she was talking about me, I didn't even care because I know that's all she talks about. But it's just the fact of the matter. It's so old. Like, it doesn't even matter anymore. Bugs me out. Yeah, well, you, well, you, well, she's getting pissed off with you. So she's wait, off. wait. So you, you did. You were intimate with that lady. Two years ago. All right, okay. somebody in the comment asked a question, uh, Scholar. This he asked, uh, was it good? That's all right. Don't talk about her. That's not, about her that's messy. Leave her alone. What is that? Like, you still don't just asked me the question. Her. That is don't messy. Talk. Don't ask. Okay. Don't ask. No. Don't ask. I'm glad you said this, though. Let me tell you why. Don't talk because... about her. No, I'm glad he said this. No, I'm not talking about it like that. I'm talking about one of the points behind you, host. So, this is why. People need to set standards. And I mean that in a nice <laughs> way. I'm not trying but this is this is exactly what the hell. <sighs> oh my God. The, the, as a woman, there should never be that kind of a conversation about you. Ever. Mm -hmm. Ever. Mm -hmm. And 
Yeah. It was a question from a woman, not from a man. It was a question from the comments from a woman. No, but what I'm saying is you should never put yourself in a position where that conversation should ever be had about you is what right. I'm saying. Right. Exactly. True. And, True. and when you when you hold a, when you hold standards for yourself, it's not about setting standards for another person. When you set expectations for another person, whether it's happiness, expecting happiness, expecting them to be up here versus down here, you're always going to be disappointed. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you set standards for yourself. Like I'm not going to sleep with no one on TikTok. Period. Because y'all are not going to talk about me. See me with y'all. You are not. And You're I feel not. like you know, women forget that yeah. our our game is access. That's our game. That's that's it. Our game is access. You, nobody should be having that much access. So are you right. saying that uh, Scala is a Pookie or Ray Ray? No, oh no, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I, I know, know I had, a, I know I had a standard that. that I do not, I don't, I never, one time in my life, I really slept a girl that I work with in the same um, place. That was a standard I had for myself. I never slept with a female that I worked I'm with. I'm not blaming because her. I did, Thank you huh? for the coins. Oh, I'm talking about never, somebody in the comments, uh, Myron, sorry. Uh, no problem, no problem. And I, I never wanted to cross that line because when I'm at work, I work. I'm, I mean, I bang it out, I'm looking to be pretty really excel so i knew what happened that's one that of that me back in the 20s and 30s i knew i knew that much i i definitely didn't i had that standard like i wouldn't mess with no and i had many offers but i was like i'm not messing with anybody at work and thank god i didn't because i could mess up you know that's really unprofessional really and fraternization of course shouldn't be it's you know just causes a mess on the workplace how do, yo, can, 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 can I just say one thing? Because like three different people said in the comment section, I, I don't want to bring this up again, but somebody saying like, oh, I brought this up. Once again, the, the only reason why I said what happened on a live is because I was shown a chat log of people talking shit about me and she was in there. That's what bugged me out. I'm like, why are you talking shit about me if we this just happened not that long My ago? My thing is, regardless of if it happened or not, regardless of if it happened or not, you know, even if somebody even if somebody brought it up to her she should i wouldn't even address it i would like she, she just ignore it and keep moving like, and if anybody like, don't even talk about it on the live stream yeah yeah it, wait, it, wait, but it, it, if anybody does, it's on youtube it's called on, on karen exposed it's the whole layout so they, i'm done huh? you put uh -huh. it on youtube no i put out what happened and how she responded to it this is why it never went Get away because Take it Because the shit she said about the, the the way it happened didn't make any sense. But when I said what happened, it, it, I, I just I was just getting it from memory. It made sense. What she said didn't make any sense. That's why it keeps coming up. Because she lied and a lot. When she put out the video initially of me, her whole comment section was like, "This doesn't make any sense." Like you have a picture of it in a hotel. You said you weren't in a hotel. You said you landed at this time, but it, it was a bunch of shit that she said that just didn't make any sense. This is why it keeps going. Cause I didn't lie. Okay. Cause I don't have nothing to lie about. I was already I with know. somebody else. So why? This... Like but why is it resurfacing again? Anyway? Cause she always talks about it. <laughs> Every time she randomly talks about it all the time. I don't know why. I don't know, but you have to understand. You have to understand with with her. It was if it before. I don't know if it was before him, but during that time too, there was also that. Um. Uh. What was it called? Womblands Gate situation. Oh, Chelsea she, and in one modern war. Yeah, that was so bad. That, he that he discontinued if, she, if she's still talking about it, if she's still talking about it, Scholar went down and licked the corn critters. That's pretty much Scholar did. Yeah, he looked at his face. He licked the corn critters. Stop talking about Karen on Karen. He's on Karen alone. <laughs> He don't got the key with the, yeah, well, he went for the corn critters, though, her. and she don't, got hooked. Leave, leave <laughs> so he can't, leave he can't keep it in. Uh, okay. It bugs me out because this is a whole this is like two years ago, probably going like it has to be two something years. This is so long ago. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. Whatever. I'm late to this discussion. I don't, I don't know what you guys are I talking like about. Certain... Nothing. We ain't talking about nothing. Huh? We just talk about uh, how we should <laughs> put standards. Okay, so wait. I have a question for you, Nick. Nick, what is your um? What is your yes. answer? Because I'm late. My answer to what? The men can't uh make women happy anymore. I don't have an answer. My when I put this up, it's for you guys to answer, not for me to answer. I know, but I want your opinion. 
I don't want to give you my opinion because it's kind of odd that you come up here asking for my opinion. That's weird. I just looked at your your um, profiles and stuff, and I just looked at your TikToks. I just I wanted to know what your opinion was. That's kind of stalkish. Like, why you go and look at my TikTok and video? Is Tyler the one speaking? Yes, yeah. it's Tyler. Like, this is yeah, weird. I'm, I'm a woman. It's me. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's what was confused about, a woman named Tyler. Okay. No. Wait, so you're confused about my name? I'm confused. I, I have a boy's name. Yeah, I wasn't. It threw me off. But Ty is usually a male, a male name. name. Yeah, Ty is usually a male name that I've always seen in my life. I never seen one. I seen Taylor for a female, but not Kyler. Texas, okay. No, it's reality. It's it's a, it's a few Tyler, no, Tyler. Right? Tyler is a boy's name. Well, exactly. So he's what right. are you talking about? Sexist. Jesus Christ. See, that's why I saved Tyler, you, Nick. I, I saved you, Nick. Sorry. She was coming in. She was coming in. See, she ran. I ran her out of here, Nick. You see, that's why I protect you, sis. You see, I protect you, sis. You see, I protect you, sis. I, I, I knew I could, I could sniff a snake out. I could sniff a snake out. <laughs> She's like, I wouldn't know. I just want to get your opinion. Like, I want to get your opinion. Hey, yeah, that sounds like, that sounds like that's that's something that Tyler you, would man. ask you. And here she go. She's right here. With the woman. I'm trying to figure out why you come up laughing you didn't, and ask you didn't why you want to My, phone, it's kind my of phone just clicked out. I'm sorry. Okay, you're, you're being like you're being lit really weird. So why no, are you asking I, I questions and you, you see what's in the profile? I wasn't. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be weird. I just wanted to know because I actually was thinking the same topic and I was just talking mm. to one of my friends about this. So I just hopped on this live. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I would love to hear what another <gasps> black woman. Think about this topic. I wasn't trying to be I got weird. my daughter here. I wanted to get her ass. Hey, how what was it like being growing up with your name Tyler? It was terrible, actually. And I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't saying I that believe we were really? being sexist. I just said that was a sexist comment because you could see my picture is a woman Amen. holding a child. No, I cannot. Your picture is no, so small. I can't see. This is mad far away. Exactly. What are you talking about? We didn't know if you were a transformer. I don't, I don't see your picture either, so. We mostly see a friend. No, I, I want you to Tyler come up. Tyler Unisex. Tyler Unisex name. I, I, had to, I had to verify I was black on here. Today? <laughs> Skyler, are you setting me up? No. They Jesus, wouldn't talk to me. Tyler Unisex. They wouldn't talk to me today. Tyler or Tyler? It's Tyler. It's Tyler. No, I'm talking to Skyler. Oh, yeah, because I was like, that's kind of my no, I'm not, no. I don't even know who this person is. I don't know what's going on. No, my name is Tyler. Hi, everyone. I'm not. Are you related to Danny? You know, you can change your name on TikTok, yeah, right? Like, name. you don't have to have your real name. She's just know. trying to be nice, name. and y'all attacking this girl. Yeah. <laughs> Mind your business. Nobody's talking to you. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'll be nice. Sorry, I'll mute my. I was just so confused. She must be from New York. Sound like a New York. This is from Rhode Island. Mind your business. It sounded real New York. Mind your business. It sounded real New York. I'm Dominican. I'm not, like I'm not from New York. I'm Dominican. Sounds oh, well, they're Dominican. Either way, okay. guys, that sounded really Dominican name. right now. That's crazy. No, it's wrong. It's not the wrong. Yeah, Go ahead. I mean, continue what you were saying, Tyler. We, well, I was, just, I was just teasing with I'm you. I'm near Boston. So um, I just, Boston I just outside. wanted to know what you guys' opinion was. That's the reason why I hopped on the, the live to begin with. Well, how I about believe, you share your opinion I first? That, and then you uh, hey, Tyler, uh, well, why are you asking so many questions? I believe that when it comes... Yeah, I think this is keep, one of your, your ops. You keep cutting me off. I think, yeah, this is an op. Because it's weird. But you're to, okay, here's the, here's <laughs> the, the thing, Miss, Miss Tyler, Miss Glover. The proper etiquette, you come in and you answer... <laughs> the thing is about you come in and share your opinion, but you ask asking oh, us okay, for all the ours. So, so you're here psychoanalyzing people or what? can't make women happy anymore. I, I think honestly she's new. think that they they don't they can't. That's just my opinion. You think men uh, can't make women happen anymore? No, I don't. I don't. So what are, what are the things that women want? The only reason why I, think I feel happiness like happiness is a choice. The only reason why I feel like oh. men can't make women happy anymore is the the basis of men are still not learning how to make themselves happy first. Okay. Are she you asked you the question, Tyler? Nick. I, I, I figured it out, Nick. Nick, she asked I you the question first. I think a woman expects a man to make her yeah. What do you feel? See if you was um, in her group or thought the same way she thought. No, so she can include no you. Group. 
there's no group to be in because I also love men. I'm just saying there's a lot of unhealed people. You say also women, love men. No, 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 you love Hold men, on. but Hold they on. can't make you happy. Right now, no, because I don't. I don't feel like there's a lot of healed men. Why don't oh, you like it seems like that's the word. It can't it seems, make you happy. Look, she brought her crew with her it's too. Up. Now the twelve has come out. Look, see her numbers no, going up. It seems I'm like not, it, it seems like even, you want I'm them to be more also, emotional or something. I like Kevin Samuels, but I also understand. Already, don't that use Kevin Samuels. Unhealed men. There's a lot okay, of she's, unhealed men here. She's this covert. Like a feminist. She's covert. She's covert. Feminist? Yeah, she's covert all day. As soon as she said, I love Kevin Samuels. Yeah, she used Kevin Samuels as a, she thought was a good hook. A like, yeah, I'm one of the guys. So she came in. No, you see the I'm numbers go up real quick? Guys. You see the numbers go up real quick? Nick, look at your numbers up top. She brought some people with her. If anything's going up, it's because of Scholar. It's not because of her. No, no, no. They did, but she brought some people. Why don't you guys let her talk? Let her talk. See where she's coming. Spy in the camp. That's right, Uncle. Tyler, why do you hate men? I don't hate men. You, but they can't why make you, you happy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Scholar, Scholar, hold on. Uh, Tyler, why you feel as though a man can't make you happy? You, you know, because you, I, oh, wait a minute, I believe... wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you, before you even talk about what a man can't do, are you happy? Can you make yourself happy? Yeah, that's where I was about to get at. People kept cutting me off. I believe that it comes from happiness comes from within. And if, as a woman, if I'm not happy and whole and healed, then I can't attract a happy and whole healed man. And I believe that there's a lot of damaged women out here. And I she also believe there's a lot good. of damage. And I believe that there's less men going to therapy more than there is women going to therapy. Like for instance, I'm in therapy. Uh, she spun that real good. It's hard for for me to believe that men are just volunteering themselves to go get anger management or go get therapy. I'm coming from a place where I was married for six years and my husband was very abusive to me. And I'm just now leaving a narcissistic no, abusive relationship. Sounds like you need healing. Oh, that's I'm great. It's right narcissistic. She's too narcissistic out there. They, that's yeah. You're, she's you're, there. She can. You're throwing out every single term that these feminists do. I, I'm. I, I don't she know all the catchphrases, bro. She's speaking on. I've been analyzing this game for. She threw. She threw a ball. All the catchphrases. Let her talk. Let her talk. Let her talk. Let her talk. Can I say something? I want to speak. Sure. Go ahead, speak speak to me. So. It seems like you're saying that men need to work on themselves and this and this, like they're like they're emotionally damaged or too aggressive or something men, like that. that that's too. what you're saying, right? Women too. Huh? Women, I said women no. too. So you think all men are like that? I don't think she all... did say both. She said both. You said men can't make women happy because you think they need to work on themselves. Do you not understand that you're running out of time? Like people want to sit here and heal, heal, heal for how many years and all this other stuff, and, all, and then they're like 30, 35 years old, and then it's you know what I'm saying? You should never. Uh, well, yes, I get what you're saying, 100. percent My generation, just, we didn't. I don't my never, generation, we didn't take our whole life to heal. We just got through shit and we figured stuff out. Now this generation is bring in my issues or my trauma from my marriage a into a relationship. <laughs> But we what I'm saying is, I hear from. It seems like all the women have trauma. Okay, all the okay, women have. We all it's do. just like we all do. How old are you, Tyler? My, I'm 24. Oh. <laughs> Look, a total of millennials. Something in no, her I'm life. I'm 27 years honestly, old. She's 27. Hold on. Hold on. I'm 27 years old. I was, I'm ex military. I also have a daughter and I also have a business. I'm not like, you know, some young, young. Did you marry? Know it. Did you marry the guy that you, um, came out of say yes, basic sir, training. I was, yes sir i was married for six years that happens quite often i was in the military as well so you married a person once you went in with, with branch i didn't marry anyone that i went into the military service with i actually married someone that i grew up around i thought you said at first you did okay what, uh, what branch you went in um army national guard oh okay you're not gotcha you're not you're not so you're don't. not um, full time hold on wait, wait did you ever get deployed no, sir. I chose okay. my marriage. Then I you're chose weak my marriage full time. instead He's the of. He's weekend warrior one. I chose yeah. my marriage and. A lot of national of, guard get deployed. I don't like when I people chose, say they're weak. 
I chose my Nobody said it is. It's not full time. Let her speak. speak. Damn it. What is wrong with y'all? Don't come on here, (laughs) Tom. <laughs> Let's go. She, every Wait time she, she's about to talk, she gets they, interrupted. She get interrupted. They keep interrupting her. Sorry. This is why men can't make her happy. Because <laughs> you know y'all don't allow women to be heard. No, let her talk. No, I just want to ask another questions. Go ahead, Tyler. Um, so I actually gave up the military and I gave up college. So I was in school to become a second lieutenant with ROTC while I was in National Guard. I went to an HBCU. I was in a sorority. I was living my life. And my my soon-to-be ex-husband, he, HBCU. Mm-hmm, he um, pursued me like from senior year in high school. And I should have known that he was a narcissist, but I also stem from a broken family. My mother and father were married for 18 years and my father was also um, abusive and my mom was narcissistic. And so I know I've been doing the work within myself to figure out the, like doing the shadow work to figuring out what is my issues, where they come from, all that. So I honestly believe that women should focus on healing themselves to attract the man that they really desire. Cause I was unhealed when I, when I, when I actually got married. That was all that I was trying to say. Thank I don't you. believe that all men are evil. I just think that there's a lot of unhealed men out here. Like my husband, soon to be ex-husband, he had rage issues and he almost put me through a wall and slammed me down and in front of my daughter. Can I, can I say something time. to you? So the next man that the next head. man that you <laughs> date, please don't you don't don't like be stuck on this past relationship because he ain't gonna want to hear. I know. I you know what I'm saying? I, th- I see so many, okay. so many relationships like Thank these women. You. Like, oh, my ex did this, my ex did that. You're gonna have to like start over. So I know, I know. I'm actually okay, moving. Tyler. If I'm you actually say... moving with family, like, um, I, I'm I'm leaving my own business that I built from the ground up. Like, I started making almost eighty thousand dollars last year, and I'm leaving all that mm-hmm. behind to start over with me and my daughter, and moving to a whole new state with my dad and my stepmom. So- Tyler, you say that if you're saying that um, men aren't healed, right? Or men need healing, or men need therapy. I agree or, with her. Okay, we but she also healing. said that men can men can't make her happy. So if she believes that, that well, means she's I not. That I should be. She is. Hold on. You said that means you're not healed, right? I said that. And you still are not over what you. She said she was seeing therapy. She said that, and I do believe that because these damn abusive ass emotional dudes that be yelling and screaming yeah. at women on these panels and if you don't have no emotional or intimacy with these men on panels and they're acting this way on panels i can just just i can just imagine how they're acting in the real world yeah. with the need women to act like are intimate with you need to act like td not screaming and calling people names yeah oh, yeah. yeah i'm just trying to pull out the um the i mean the out points in what she's saying if she's so, saying I that men that, that you need that too, right? Still, you have you're not over it. Well, she that's the reason that. why I said that. She okay. said what, it. What's that HBCU next one under your head? What's the This is poor communication when women cannot talk. You see what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. Like when this women is, talk, I'm asking a question. To talk, two of you kept interrupting her, just like TD. You had, hey, to, you had to yell at everybody when the women were hey, talking over you. On my that was an attack. That was an attack. Well, okay, attack. that's different. But like y'all not allowing a woman to speak. She would be crying if she went through half that stuff out and went through. Oh, this is why crying. men can't make women happy because uh-huh. they don't listen. That's yeah, why we go over to you. Express their okay. percep- uh, perception. Get yeah, on a go plane over to a overseas. woman that you have to pay so they can listen to you. Yeah, like oh, we, oh, we need Kevin Samuels to speak. So you want to? So you want to get with the woman in the U.S. Kevin and, Samuels and you, talk you about wanna pay. how women are, but won't listen to a woman. So you want to stay in the United States and spend money on a woman in the United States? Just tell your wife that you're broke, and I'll see if she'll stay with you. Tell your wife that you're broke. So in my (laughs) response to you, my ex was broke, and it was getting bitches. Tyler, in my response to you, quite honestly, happiness is a choice. It's a personal choice. It is not something that anybody can give you. It's something you give yourself. 100%. 
you're a little bit older than me, but um, mm -hmm. it's something that you give yourself. Um, 100%. Secondly, okay. it's putting that expectation, making something that's so internal, an external expectation from somebody else quite honestly, it's always going to lead you to disappointment. And 100%. you're always going to be, you know, making that person feel like they're not mm. enough or mm. fall short because you have not found inner joy, inner peace, inner happiness. Mm. Um, so I'm happy that you are getting therapy because that is the first step to getting to that point. Real talk. Okay. Secondly, um, secondly, um, when it comes to all the stuff that you said that you've gone through, um, you know, not everybody hits the lottery when they get married young. Everybody um, said that's what she just said. I did, but it's okay. <laughs> like she keeps saying. Well, I, I couldn't, I, I wasn't, I'm sorry, but, um, yeah. you know, I, that's unfortunate. And I know one of the men said that a man isn't going to want to hear that, but it's not even that I wouldn't talk about it because then you're going to create a precedent where a man is, some men are going to think that, you know, because your ex treated you away that you're going to, you're conditioned to accept any kind of treatment. You do yeah. not tell people bad things about your exes. I never talk shit about my exes. I, I say they're all great guys and we got along and we can't do that. Even if we that's misinforming our younger ladies that that's how our relationships are. And we're going to give this false sense of belief that they're going to think all relationships are perfect. And we yeah. can't give that. We can't, we can't tell Listen, that. I we thought that, that too. Exactly okay, I, what you thought. I literally thought the same thing. And I, I knew at 21 mm -hmm. years old he wasn't ready for marriage and I wasn't ready. I actually called off our wedding the week of our <coughs> wedding, but I wasn't listening to my internal gut. And so that led me to where I'm at today. And I've like okay. struggled with this man. Like I've slept in my car with this man. Like I literally got it out the mud out. with him. Yeah, but I've been in a service and most of them, they, most people in the service, they do marry young. So you didn't do it outside your, you know, your, your I got it out the mud with this man and still to this day he is he disrespects me talking to the phone on the phone with me and my daughter uh yelled at okay. me he just busted a lamp just like two days ago because I, I I had to I told my dad finally like I I've kept this from my family like I finally told my dad and my dad was like yeah you're coming to Texas like I'm moving you down here okay question Whatever. Tyler uh, serious yeah. question Tyler serious question since you're I mean in therapy currently right now do you think um social media is a safe space for you do you think that's Honestly, helping having these platforms and talk your, like has you think actually, that's reinforcing your therapy um it actually has helped me like just that's the reason why I hopped on this discussion panel because it gives me more insight of what other women think, and that's. Just, I'm sorry for my. I was a troll. Uh, I no, was one of the stalkers that was chasing no, after scholar. So no, I apologize. Okay, but, no, but here's no, the no. problem: that insight from other women cannot be can also be harmful as much as healthy. Okay, because and it can just pour into you just hearing the echo chamber of a lot of bad experiences. It can make you have the. I mean the opinion that like women can't help men or men are this and invite men do the same thing vice versa it happens to both of us so i just I, my opinion i mean my um advice to you is i mean um guard your guard your thoughts guard your thoughts i mean i'm saying it sincerely guard your thoughts guard your mind the, I will uh, um, yeah. scriptures and all that i go to church i make sure i pray I surround myself with my spiritual stones and all that. I get what you're saying, but I also am aware that a lot of men on these on podcasts and these platforms are also bashing women and making yeah. them seem like they're the problem when a lot right. of these men are causing unhealed and traumatic experiences for really good women. I'm not exactly. saying that I am uh, perfect because by any by no means Am I going to say that I haven't made mistakes, that I have never been, uh, that I never cheated, that I never lied, or that I've never, never cheated. acted you cheated? Out of Stop, 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 hold stop. Hold on, hold on. You cheated? That's my thing. That's what I'm talking about. This, Did you cheat in the marriage? Heart. All I'm oh, saying is we are not No, no. Miss, Miss, Miss Tyler, can I, I'm hey guys, saying, let's not jump in real. I'm being I'm serious. I'm saying in general, I'm not going to sit up here and just bash 
men. But, but you, what I'm saying, but you, but you are in, indirectly. So what I'm saying is, hun, no, I don't I'm think. No, I'm not. I'm giving you my experience. Bashing okay. is is belittling and saying my ex ain't shit and all this stuff. I never said that. I just gave you my experiences. Whether mm -hmm. you take from what I've experienced and you put your own perspective or your own opinion on it, that yeah. is what you get out of it. Not I think what you... I'm saying my ex is because I literally did not say anything negative about my ex. Well, I you didn't said... drill T T D when he says he doesn't deal with American women and he married someone in Korea. Okay. Well, so if you I ain't gonna drill a I... man like that, don't drill her. I you know actually, yeah, I actually I actually just want wanted opinions because I know that a lot of times when you go through an abusive narcissistic situation, you always feel alone and you always feel like um, maybe there's there's no one out here going through the same thing that you're experiencing or you, you're, you are coming out of. And so that's another reason why I'm like, oh, it's not a man bashing thing. It's just like, oh my gosh, another mm -hmm. woman has like an opinion or a perspective or even, even advice, which is what uh, PCOS you know, actually, she she said something uh, that I kind of already was thinking about and playing in my life. And so I do appreciate your advice as well, sis. But I I just it's want you to know, Myron, that just because I gave you a background of a little bit that I've experienced doesn't, uh -huh. doesn't mean that I'm this on this man bashing train. It's just there's a lot of unhealed men or mm -hmm. even younger minded men say, that are very men. immature. Well, and so I know. And and she's she's a because T D men are right. so my men thing are, is I just had a guy talked about me again because he okay. got mad because I was speaking about women. But Nick, and I'm what still I'm saying trying is, to understand how men argue with a woman talking about how women feel and okay. women's thoughts. Uh, I absolutely agree. My point is it's unhealed and un it's unhealed both. There's unhealed men and unhealed women, period, across the board. Right, but she's not Who's a lesbian. Know how many? Hold on. Yeah. Right, but still, we. You, so if you're listening to a lot of, she's, she's going, going back, rules, she's getting therapy, back right? Page and, no, no. and go in and hey tell guys, him that y'all won't, because he talk about women every single fucking day, and none of you men never go on his lives and tell him why he's always speaking negatively. Because about it's negatively. true. <laughs> women. Because it's true. first of all, I've, I've only been on lives that I've I got know, relationships with the is people. Known. But I'm being honest with you. Know, she's dealing with there is a, it's a certain black men that bash women all the time. Okay, black and it's vice versa bash, going on. But I'm saying, Nick, my ex wasn't even. It's a, not a tick for talking. It. It's a certain ex, harm. Bash, bash there is a certain harm. My ex wasn't. Can be, hold on, Tyler. There's a certain harm that can't come to you from hearing all these uh, echo chamber of different upset, bitter women or upset, bitter men. And Tyler, if you're still young, and had a kid you're still very young. I don't think that's... But how is it that people can be impressionable, but somebody's, a man is talking about women and that's okay. But the minute she makes a statement about some men being unhealed, she didn't even say all no, men. She I, said some men If you heard what unhealed. I said, it's I said both are doing it. I said both are doing it. I clearly said right, multiple times here. Right, talking about men. Men, men as a woman who is interested Black in men is, and is heterosexual is women do you see the big difference her coming to a live panel and her talking about some men are unhealed which is true her content doesn't show her bashing men at all mm -hmm. she doesn't even make content like that mm -hmm. nobody but black I, guru he who makes we talking content about? in live streams about it he just, I look, he just and I just I want to put black this black out black. here. My ex, or soon to, you know, soon to be ex husband, he doesn't. He wasn't a pookie. <laughs> he he grew up in a church home. His his family, his dad is a bishop of a church. You know, he played the drums. I thought I was marrying a man of God, and I was actually marrying someone who was completely the opposite. But well, I still, but I okay. still, um, had a standard. You know, he put a rock on my finger before I got pregnant. That was my quote unquote standard in my head. It doesn't make anyone less than if that happens backwards. But I will say this, I, I got married first and then I got pregnant with my child, even though it was very fast. Um, and I, I, I missed out on a lot of my 
college experience or even just being able to graduate because I love this man so much. So understand that my personal happiness before he stepped in the picture. This is turning into a counseling session. This is not a counseling session. I just actually just, touched on the pookie um, thing. Yeah, but just because a man puts a ring on your finger doesn't mean he's not a pookie or a ray ray. They, that what you're ta what we're talking about is a concept of characteristics, like you know any like a it's a mentality in my opinion i don't feel like you know you have to be of a particular class you could come from a great home and just be trash it just ha people choose to be who they are but that regardless of where they what come I was trying from to say was that's not what he presented himself to be they never and do, now they. and now that we're getting a like a divorce now i get to see he is a pookie and a ray ray but he, he didn't perceive himself to be that before we got married and, and now he, i'm starting to see like the mask is starting to fall down and that's the only reason why i said anything about a narcissist earlier in our in my conversation because that's what narcissists do they they uh, uh give you gifts and they they put a big ring on your finger and they they court you they want to dine you they love bomb you and that's so a narcissist that's yeah, that's what narcissists do. Yeah, that's exactly what narcissists do. So every man that puts a ring on your finger or does no, nice things okay. for you is a narcissist. No, that's not what, no, what she like saying. About that's love not bombing. what she said. Love bombing. Is what like um, Tyler. Love bombing. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, the love bombing is he, loving somebody I, too I, much, I right? That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Well, they give they he, love just, bomb you really like to, all I early need... and fresh and new and like I love you. I and that's a narcissist. That's why you gotta treat them like nothing. I said women do that. Women, I hear women all the time. I love you. I said women love bomb like crazy. Man, that's crazy. That's love. I'm not gonna say love you no more. Yeah, I know. I never said that often. Hey Tyler, you said that he he you said that he seemed like like a church boy you first met him. Well, you know that the devil is a fallen angel. So. Oh Jesus! I know that. But yeah, I get what you're saying. But TD, I think that you really need to focus on uh, putting your listening ears on when you when you hear women speak <laughs> versus um, responding with a rebuttal to make your male verbato sound intelligent, because sometimes it can come off very um, um, not yes. compassionate. It's not compassionate at all. And if you're trying to reach, be able to uh, reach a woman with your intellect, you don't have to be forceful like that. That's well, not I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to be forceful. I came on here to Nick's uh, uh, live. That's not Tyler. And, and now, <laughs> now, I'm t now, now you're telling me all about Hold your up, life. Hold up, Tyler. That's trauma. narcissistic. What yeah, you just you doing with your life you trauma with your ex? And now I gotta, we gotta sit here and counsel you, and you should be in counseling yourself. You're you Put, you should have put. You should have put. You should have put your. You she just put shared her experience. You need. You don't need to share your whole life on TD these. Social, on these social media. That's definitely not my whole really? life. Tyler, that, Tyler, she that came to me first. I, 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 I liked the insight she gave us. She came to me for yeah, this, this, She's nice. I need to do this and this. You should. If you're gonna buy that, we don't even know her. Goodbye, TD. See. TD. Say some, she say something she, to me now. She wants to say bye. She was giving us some groundwork say. insight she to her life. She wasn't anything. using us as therapists. No, you done sat here and fine. told us how American women aren't valuable. You guys keep asking and asking and asking. Hey, you and asking. Hold up. What, this, she said to Ty, what she said to TD was narcissistic. I just want y'all to recognize. No, it wasn't. That. No, it wasn't. It was. What's the oh, definition of narcissism? I think holding someone accountable for their actions is definitely not narcissism. Well, what is the definition of narcissism? Can Looking you ask definition? What I'm saying, do you think you lack empathy? No, I said compassion. Did I say anything about empathy? Okay, but that's the definition of narcissism. Sir, Somebody sir, who's doing what you do I without empathy. He, she said, said compassion. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if we oh, my God. Up, they don't know the definition. Quick on. Tyler, I wish you find Thank all you. that you're looking for. And uh, I'm so happy that you're getting the help that you need. Nikki, I will bid you good night, sweetheart. Good and night. to the panel, y'all have a reasonable conversation. But I know it's going to go left. All right, you guys. Good night, Uncle Kenny. Take your pill. Oh, you ain't sent it yet. Mr. <laughs> Kenny, have a good night, sir. <laughs>
Uh, you just guys don't run, just, just don't run off oh, every nice. man that love bombs you. If a man love bombs you, don't. Oh, he love bomb me. I can't date him. Like you. Yeah, it's uh, just that they don't mm-hmm. know that it's love bombing at that time. I never heard of it until just now. You didn't know that? Okay. I well, never heard I've of never, love bombing either. Yeah, I've never heard of it. So y'all just making stuff okay, like wait, up no, every day no, on TikTok. No, 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 no that's a real thing. I would not stop. Because I'm going to blow the fuck up now. If you mm-hmm. go, like, this is part of mental health. Love bombing is part of mental health. Now Trade you want to say that TikTok, everybody's making up shit on TikTok. That I'm just saying, is Bridget. one of the, that is not a TikTok thing. That is part of mental health. I know what you mean by it, but I never knew it had a title called Love Bombing. Yes, yeah. like gaslighting is also it's emotional abuse. Hey, anything against a man, they're gonna have a label on it. Or have emotional it. Men, men and women can love bomb. It's not just a man. Both yeah, men, men and women can do it. Thank you. That's what I said earlier. Back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got love bombed. If that's what's the name for it, yeah, I've been that a couple of times, but and I didn't like it. I really don't. <laughs> That's manipulation. Uh, I definitely hey, got love bombed. Hey, tell me about. It. Hey, I hey, I know you. you got hey, I'm bombed. quite a charismatic guy, but I, 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 I thought it's. I think it's manipulation. So I understand what Tyler is talking about in that. Game. But the manipulation and love bombing. The love bombing can't be manipulation. It's a form of it, in a sense. The gaslighting is definitely. the most painful thing in the world to like. Women do that more than men. Women no, do that. Men, Wait, women. men and women. I don't. I agree. Gaslighting. But gaslighting is so painful to un, 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 to literally try to unhinge yourself, like not be unhinged and that. unlearn what the person that's gaslighting is doing. It's crazy. So how do you how do you personally how were you personally dealing with gaslighting? Were you getting frustrated and just letting yourself get emotional and angry? Yeah. I'm just asking from my from just for me to know. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then, then now, what happened? Did you just disassociate from the situation and then become cold and then not care anymore? Is that what happened next when you were well, done?